because Syria is a time bomb in many aspects. Uh, first of all, its economy is hedging towards being a narco state. And we see that the regime's core, like the Fort Mechanized Division, is directly engaged in narco state activities like the illicit captagon trade. Uh, this is a region-wide problem, not only for the Middle East, but also for the Mediterranean shores and broader Europe at large. Second, despite the chemical disarmament deal, we see that the Syrian regime still holds some of its really deadly chemical weapons capabilities, including possibly VX, which in terms of destructive effects, equivalent of a tactical nuclear weapon. Uh, we have seen that France, the United Kingdom, and the United States had to conduct punitive strikes against the Syrian regime following, actually, the, the chemical deal based on the uh, chemical weapons used by the Syrian Arab army. This will remain uh, a core problem, a core security threat to international order as well as the Middle Eastern security landscape. Uh, in addition to that, we see that the, the Syrian Arab armed forces still keep their missile prowess and cooperating with rogue regimes like North Korea and Iran in developing strategic weapons capabilities. This is a huge uh, threat to uh, the stability and peace in the, in the Middle East. Uh, yet another uh, collision course, actually multiple collision course in Syria, is the Lebanese Hezbollah threat vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, the state of Israel, and also the PKK terrorist network's offshoots like YPG uh, threatening the Turkish national security. Uh, these are geopolitical imperatives for both Turkey and, and Israel, so uh, you cannot simply make them live next to such uh, non-state violent threats by policy choices or diplomatic engagement. Uh, at some point, the West has to understand these security imperatives will uh, actually tower uh, over any kind of uh, diplomatic agenda. Uh, last but not the least, we are seeing that the monopoly of power, in a Weberian sense, is fading away in Syria, actually by the Iranian intervention, uh, because, first to speak, there is the Syrian Arab army, but also national defense forces, but not only national defense forces, the Lebanese Hezbollah, Fatimi Yunan Zeynabiyun brigades, uh, Iraqi uh, Shiite paramilitaries, because there is, along with the Salafi Jihad threat, there is a Shiite Jihad harvested and brokered by the Iranian Quds forces plaguing the Syrian threat landscape. Overall, while the uh, Bashar al-Assad's address to the Arab League might seem at first glance like putting an end to the civil war, uh, Syria has a potential, a notorious potential, to implode and explode at the same time, and this potential is one of the major, uh, or should be one of the major pillars of the West's uh, security policy vis-a-vis uh, -vis Levant. Thank you.